Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4. Uh, here's my little power armor collection as of right now. Uh, you got the T-45s. You got the two Brotherhood of Steels right here. You got the start of the X-01 power armor, some T-51, and some Brotherhood of Steel, another one of those. Okay, so you can see these two say steel. That's, uh, that's what they say here. I totally jacked up the save. It is my fault. My bad, guys. Um, I take full responsibility <laughs> for the mistake. But I'm going to be showing you how you can get two free power armors uh, from the Brotherhood of Steel. So to demonstrate, I'll go ahead and take one of these, uh, and I will go ahead and show you guys what uh, you need to do to get two free, um, two pretty easy sets of power armor. Uh, the only thing is um, is that it will permanently say steal. Um, there's no way to like steal the power armor and have it be. Um, what am I trying to say? There's no way to actually steal the frame of the body armor. So anything you put into it is then going to be stealing. So just keep that in mind. Um, some of your companions won't like it. Um, Dance will like it because every time you get into a power armor, um, he likes it. So. Pretty simple as that, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, it's my fault. I'm sorry that I jacked it up. Um, I accidentally saved over my save file that I had saved so that I could record this video. Um, by complete accident, I was doing some other stuff, and I am also going to show you some of the other stuff that I found um, in some other videos, but uh, I think you guys should be able to get the premise of this. Uh, so you're on the Pridwin. Uh, and then you're going to want to head to the uh, place where you got your first Brotherhood of Steel power armor. Um, the one that's just yours for getting the rank of Knight. So you're going to want to head here. And you're going to want to head down uh, to the main deck. I've really been enjoying Fallout 4. I've been doing... I'm not... I have a ton of time played, but I really haven't progressed that much. To be honest, I've probably spent like four or five hours just in the settlement messing around. Um, and then I've spent some hours just exploring. I lost all my followers somehow. Um, I couldn't find any of them. Then I found them all like tr stuck in one house. So someone was blocking the doorway. The fo Losing your followers is like this. It's like, I can't believe it's like actually a thing. You could actually just not find them. They just won't be anywhere. Um, but the, my best suggestion for that is just to keep traveling um, around. Okay, so you're on this ship. If you remember, there is a power armor right here, and there is a power armor right here. I'm going to hop out of this just to demonstrate uh, what you'll want to do. Okay, so the power armors will be set up like this. Um, actually got out of that pretty well. I wish you could move the power armors while you were um, in... Uh, what do you, what am I trying to say? When you're in, like, the workshop mode. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is the power armor will be sitting there. You want to just make sure you're hidden and make sure you will be hidden the whole time you're getting in the armor. Uh, because if they see you at any point throughout the animation of getting in the power armor, it will count it as stealing and they'll attack. So I suggest quick saving before you go ahead and hop in the power armor. But it's as easy as that. Once you hop in the power armor, no one will be hostile even though you technically stole the armor. No one here will be hostile. Um, they just kind of like ignore it and let you have the power armor. Uh, so keep that in mind. No one will be ho hostile, so there's not a big deal in stealing these as long as you do it correctly. And uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed, and go to get yourself two free power armors. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.